Welcome back. Okay, so we stopped right here. Before we get started, y'all already know I'm gonna say, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and don't forget to share with your friends and stuff, because this story is like really, really good. It's getting like better and better as I go. And as we get started, we're going to start with the story of Shimio. I can always hit the log button. Shimio, yeah, that's his name. Uh, I guess he's a forest monster? I don't know. Hey, have you heard that rumor? That one about the weird giant guy. He covers, he's covered in black splotches? It's like moles? Is that what they're kind of, kind of pointing at? Can I get like a picture up here? So, people call him Shimio, the spotted man in the forest. I've heard he asks everyone he meets a question? What kind of question? I don't know who's talking. Do you like bees? A college student who heard the rumor decided to go to the forest to see. And a man covered in splotches really did appear. Okay, so he must be some type of person that might have gotten killed by bees or something like that. Uh, maybe he liked bees and maybe he went to the forest to go see them. Something bad happened and... You know, something like that. Do you like bees? Ouch. The student laughed. Yeah, sure, I like them. And then... Let's raise some then. <laughs> oh, oh, in your body. Oh, he has like a really deep voice. Like a... <laughs> Oh god. Ooh. Scared me. I got scared a little bit. I sorry you guys. Shimio asks those who meets a one single question. Then kills them using his drill. Wait, what? Then what's the B question for? That might be none other than the figure you saw, Lord Shu. However, I have no proof. Then we'll have to gather evidence. Let's get ourselves to the forest. Investigation requires legwork. There's no hesitation in Mishima. After facing Hanaiko, he knows full well what spirits are capable of. Is this his training and experience as a police detective? Hey, now, you serious? Going there in the middle of the night? You guys have totally lost it. Um, you stay here, you scared. I feel like, personally, we need to bring him with us. Like, the sooner we can bring out this uh, Shimio guy, the faster and the better that like, we can get to the person that we need to get to that has our mark, that gave us our mark. So I feel like if he comes, Shimio will appear because he gave him the mark and then you know we can take him out so you know you're coming too. What? Me? So an elementary school kid and a high schooler are tougher than you? You're that much of an wimp? Sorry I was looking at my phone y'all. What do you say? I ain't no scaredy cat. Hey old man. Take me with you instead of him. If that huge guy really is some monster, I'll pound him to dust. Hey, easy to manipulate. He's easy to manipulate, extremely. You've settled on a decision. Please head to the forest by H Castle once you are ready. Your first goal is to identify the spirit that bestowed the mark. Best wishes for your investigation. Mary's giving me some weird vibes, y'all. Like maybe it's just me, but Mary has been like, you know, she's always, yeah, go ahead, go, you know, go do this. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you this and all that other stuff. Like, she's kind of like that person. I feel like she has some type of evil intent behind what she's doing, but I don't want to say that until like we get to the end or anything. But that's just me. Like it. Shimio, I'm sure new chapter items changes. Uh, okay. 
My game froze for like three seconds. All items obtained within a chapter are removed at the end. If a chapter brings an item, it will be added to the chart. The start, sorry. New chapter soul power. It will return to a thousand. Yay! So I. Uh, let's see what you got, kid. Wait, we can't go look at the other kid? So she Mio. Let's see if it tells us something different. The forest is shrouded by strange events, suicides and body dumpings and the and the like. It scares off the casual visitors. Only the occasional test of courage brings a foolish kid inside. The paths are shaded at the all hours with thick trees so easy to become lost among the rumors swirling about this forest I keep feeling like I have to burp like it's like right in my chest is one of, was one of a bizarre man sorry known as the spotted man or a shimio he's covered in dark splotches and asks all he meets if they like bees if they say yes, he attacks them while laughing maniacally. If he's, um, he sounds like your standard crazy, but I guess he's <laughs> the next spirit we'll face. At this rate, so this is my book, right? No one else can see his book. Okay, okay, just making sure. At any rate, we'll have to head to the forest to investigate. All right, that was all we got. That was that was really all we got. Um, Shima, Shao Nekashima, a male high school student. I wonder does he know Mo? I wonder if we get a chance to ask him that. An injury forced this former baseball player to quit. His prickly attitude seems to stem from that, but <laughs> he treasures his friends. Oh, that is so cute. He's a hard ass and. Excuse my language, y'all. Oop, Lord, forgive me. He's a he's a hard butt, but he legit, honestly, love his friends. His tough guy acts as cover for how he's terrified of supernatural, and he can't. It always seems like the tough guys are the ones that have the simplest little t fears. Like you, they'll run from a tiny little dog or something. And I'm who am I to talk? I'm scared of dogs myself. We got a baseball bat that we can use at any time. We got a baseball. Okay, baseball bat that shoe had. I keep wanting to call him Shroud for some reason. Shoe had. It's covered in scratches and dents. It's seen a lot of uses, even off the baseball field. Only shoe can use it. So we have a baseball bat and a baseball. Why not bring? Yeah, we gotta bring him. <sighs> yeah, so we're gonna definitely bring him. Uh, my game froze again. This is so weird. I've been having this like these weird little freezes. We're gonna bring. We're gonna bring uh, him. Exit Koju Mansion Forest. I feel like we'd be better off bringing him. Ugh, my nose is itchy. Oh no, I forgot to save. Shoot. Where am I? Oh, why am I? Sorry. I said, where am I? Damn it. Why? Shu throws himself into the passenger seat and mumbles an endless lengthy of complaints. I really want to tell him to shut up, but I'm pretty sure that'll only make things worse. It's only natural for a guy his age. Hey, old man, you got to smoke? I blinked in surprise. I keep forgetting I made his voice like really deep like this. Like he's really surprised. A cigarette? Uh I instinctively put my hand on my pocket. But I come to the my senses. You're not old enough for that yet. I was gonna say kid. Shut up. I'm nineteen already. It's fine. Nineteen? But you're still a high school. Now I've done it. I'm overcome with regret the instant I say it, but I can't take it back now. Well, excuse me for repeating a grade. Looks like I touched a sore subject, even though 
<laughs> that wasn't my intentions. Yeah, sometimes you kind of say things and do things. The atmosphere in the car was bad enough, and now I've made it worse. I need to change the subject. So, are you in a club or anything? You look pretty fit. So maybe baseball or... Yeah, I play. But I quit. My emergency save just swerved into dangerous territory. Broke my knee. Too many laps. Coach kept saying I had a bad attitude or looked at him funny. Sorry. Why are you apologizing? I don't care about that sh shites. I almost said it. I almost said it, y'all. I couldn't really get in get into it under that shitty code. Excuse my language, anyway. I think I know why he rides his motorcycle alone in the mountains. But if he came to Coach Mansion after a setback like that... Ugh. Frick. Seriously frustrating. He keeps up a string of swearing for a while. Anyone would act the same way. Anyone would swear up a storm, but keep going down the same path anyway. Down this dark, uncertain road that only leads to death. So, I, I get it. He's a troubled kid. You know, troubled youth. <sighs> but come on, you guys. Like, we gotta cut him some slack. He's probably... I mean, family life probably not good. And then you got people breathing down your neck, probably teasing you that you had to repeat a grade. So you become this hard butt, you know, this this little delinquent, I guess. Because you have a hard life in school. School is tough. I don't care what anybody say. I had the worst experiences in school. Like, to this day, I fear having kids because I'm so scared to put my kids in a public school. I had the worst experiences in school and it just led me down a really bad path. Thank God I was smart enough to be skipped up a grade, but with my social anxiety, anxiety period, you know, just panic attacks and stuff like that, it made it so hard for me to make friends and it made it hard for me to fit in with people and I got bullied a lot too. So you got to add that on to not making friends, not being able to make friends and getting bullied. like. Some people handle it the wrong way. I handled it the wrong way myself. And if I can go back and make some changes, trust me, I would. But uh, a lot of people handle that the wrong way. And he probably, you know, took to anger. You know, anger made him feel good. Scared people off, you know, fighting in school and stuff. It made him feel good. It made him feel like he controlled at least something. We arrived at the forest by H Castle. I stopped the car near where Shu says he saw the man and we entered the forest. <sighs> All the guideposts on the path were faded. Their paint peeling off. It looks hardly <laughs> traversed. Oh my god. So we're in a forest that the maps are torn up and falling off the whatever, the board, the trees or wherever the map is. And we didn't bring a map or anything. Just as Shu and Mashita said. We walked a while until we... Actually... Actually like this picture. Might take this picture and then put Shu in. Like right in the middle as a... Thingy. But anyways... We walked a while until we came to a large arch marking the start of the hiking trail. It's rusted over and with the peeling paint it doesn't seem to have been touched up. The letters have faded and are mostly illegible. So not only are we in a place that hasn't been touched by anybody, we're in a place that, you know what, alright, cool. Carefully reading it, it says, Welcome to the 
lush and romantic wood Timberland murder huh all right I get it cool yeah coincidence that's all it's just cuz it's way old and faded come on old man let's go already he is terrified and I could have got my thumbnail right then and there <laughs> I'm so bad I wish I could go back he passed under the arch and entered the forest part of me don't want to take this little boy in here because look inside I think we're gonna s no we can keep going a little bit I was gonna say I think I'm gonna stop it but then we can you know it hasn't been that long I think it's been using a long time there's no garbage littered in either uh, feel inside feel inside the container but nothing's inside all right and table a wooden table the weather's beaten table and the Benches are clearly damaged and rotten place. Okay, Phil. I peek underneath the table and find something stuck there. Yay, we got some souls. We got some souls here. Soul power! Alright, anywhere else? Anywhere else? Alright. Let's go back and move forward. We continue down the path a short while before we come across something unexpected. It's a grave marker. Xbox! Come on. Sorry. There was like a gnat on the thingy and I was trying to like shoo it away. Like slam my hand hard enough to make it move. I did not kill it. It was probably put there to honor those who committed suicide here. Oh, I hit Q. Razzle, fragile, fragile. Grave. We looked at it. Something written in there on the marker. Say the opposite of the truth. You'll be followed. Shall scowls to cover how his face is deadly pale. You'll be followed. The hell's with that? Damn it! Who scribbles dumbass graffiti? Excuse my language. Sorry, I dropped my phone. Just off to the side, I noticed a faint trail. Discovered the entrance to the beast. Hmm? Looks like there's a path over there too. Hey, oh man, try to keep up. You really wanna be coming through here with the mark on your arm? The moonlight doesn't read, actually. Eh, eh. Ouch, sorry. Sorry, 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 you guys. The moonlight doesn't reach the beast trail that branches off the hiking trail so we're in a gloom the trees are thick on both sides we'd get lost if we didn't have a flashlight just then there are footsteps close by from the bushes hold on did you hear footsteps too don't be scary I hear footsteps again. It seems to be getting closer. Then. Nanda. What? Oh! Hello! A man appears from the bushes. He looks horribly exhausted. He looks. interesting. Don't startle me like that. You shouldn't stand around in the dark. What are you doing? The man fell, falls silent. 
I think he realized he already knows the answer. Rashida did say this place is famous spot for suicide. I just didn't do it anymore. Can't do it anymore, sorry. I work myself to the bone at a job I don't even want. I hate hearing stories like this. And you just bring another man home. How dare you? The nerve. His wife cheated on him. Oh, people don't cheat. Don't get in a relationship if you're going to want to go and throw your meat everywhere or let your girls hang out and let everybody see it. He holds his head in his hand. He suddenly starts kicking a tree and yelling. Frick! Frick! A rapid stream of swear words flow out of his mouth. He seems to be the type that goes crazy when he's upset. Oh my god, you see his face? Hey, can you tell me? How much nerve do you have to have to do that? Huh? Stop him. Oh, it's one of those thingies. I'm gonna fail this and I die. Um, I don't know. I, I'll come back and redo it again, but I hear the voice again. Stop him. Does that mean I should destroy him? Mm, yes, we should. <sighs> if you got something to say, just spit it out, you bastard. Excuse my language. Uh live or die. Oh, I hope we do the right one. Um Let me see the let me see the answers. Hurry up. Ah uh, Oh the screen. Calm him down. Silently listen. Sympathize. 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 Is that the right one? Is that the right one? It would be bad if he went berserk here. I try to act like I sympathize, but <laughs> you say you understand? What bullshit are you trying to pull, huh? I think I only made it worse. Excuse my language. Oh no, I did it wrong. I'm gonna come back and do this again. I did it wrong. <laughs> What did she think I was doing? Worked myself sick, but stuck it with it anyway. And for whose sake? I even bought her a purse on our anniversary last year. Damn it. Damn it. Then she goes and sees another man. The man curses the darkness. He's completely lost it. I should probably avoid any tactless interjections or flattery. So we had to, you know what? Hey, you over there. Was it me? What do you think? Could it up for me? Did I do anything wrong? Come on, again? I, I'm telling you I'm a fella again. No. No, you didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do nothing wrong. Please don't tell me I was wrong. I'm gonna have to redo this whole thing. I don't know. Yeah, that's right. I just did my best. Damn it. Damn it all. I can't hear the anguish in his voice as he yells. That was wrong? Oh my God. Okay, so we're gonna stop it right here. <laughs> Cause I gotta go back anyway. But we're gonna stop it right here. As we're gonna keep going until this is all finished. I'm sure she just laugh if she heard I was dead, hanging off her asshole lover. 
but when I think about it, you know, strange. Why do I have to make a, her happy when it causes me such pain? It's ridiculous. I'm done with it. No way I'm gonna die for an idiot like that. That's right. I'm sure I can still. The man looks down at his feet, then glances up at me. We could still start all over fresh, right? I don't know anymore. Like, stop asking me. It's, it, it's possible. It, it, it's possible. Was that right? Was that one right, Elise? Yeah. I agree. I've lived this long. It's too late for me. That was, oh, uh, I only got one right. Oh my God. And look at my soul point here. Yeah. I'll die sometime soon. Even if it's not tonight, I'll endure it till then. Okay, we're gonna stop right here. Um, thank you guys for watching. I have uh I have screwed up completely. So I am going to go and uh think about some stuff, think about the my actions and stuff and pray on a few things. Excuse my language to this whole thing because this man was cursing. I was trying to, you know, put some words in, but unfortunately I could not think off the top of my head because my top of my head is just pounding. I love each and every one of you guys. I want you guys to have a wonderful, great, blessed day. And I will see all you lovely people in the next video. Bye.